some new legal trouble for President Trump. Stormy Daniels, the adult film star who said she had an affair with Trump more than a decade ago, is now filing a lawsuit against the president, arguing that the non-disclosure agreement she signed right before the 2016 election is not valid. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, has the story. Good morning, Tom. George, good morning to you. And with this lawsuit, the non-disclosure agreement has now been made public. Using aliases, it lays out the agreement between Stormy Daniels and President Trump. That, according to the complaint, but now Daniel says it's null and void, which could mean she's free to tell her story. This morning, President Trump and his personal legal team have a new problem with an old foe, Stormy Daniels. The adult entertainment star filed this civil lawsuit in Los Angeles Superior Court, arguing a non-disclosure agreement she signed was not binding because it was missing something essential, President Trump's signature. Daniels claims in their agreement they used aliases, saying President Trump was referred to as David Dennison and she was Peggy Peterson. In her lawsuit, a copy of the agreement shows a blank space where she says Mr. Trump would have signed. This lawsuit is also the first time Daniels has admitted publicly to signing a non-disclosure agreement. Do you have a non-disclosure agreement? Do I? You can't say whether you have a non-disclosure agreement, but if you didn't have a non-disclosure agreement, you most certainly could say, I don't have a non-disclosure agreement. Yes? You're so smart, Jimmy. Before the agreement, Daniels told her story to In Touch magazine back in 2011. She says she met the future president in July of 2006 in Lake Tahoe at a celebrity golf tournament. Snapping this photo with him, she later posted on her MySpace page. Daniels told the magazine Trump, then a reality star, invited her to his hotel suite where they had sex. And afterwards, she says Trump told her, I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. I have to see you again. You're amazing. We have to get you on The Apprentice. In the magazine interview, Daniels also claiming her affair with Trump lasted about a year when Trump was a newlywed. He had been married to Melania a little over a year. His son, Baron, had been born three or four months prior to that. According to her lawsuit, the so-called agreement was finalized 11 days before the election. And just three weeks ago, the president's longtime personal attorney, Michael Cohen, admitted to paying $130,000 of his own money to Daniels, whose real name is Stephanie Clifford. But Cohen said in a statement, neither the Trump organization nor the Trump campaign was a party to the transaction with Ms. Clifford and neither reimbursed me for the payment, either directly or indirectly. Now, legal experts are mixed on whether Daniels has a case. One lawyer we spoke to says no signature by one of the parties raises the question whether the agreement was ever finalized. Cohen nor the White House has commented yet on this new development. And in that yes. denial, he doesn't deny that Donald Trump may have told him or paid him. Never says that. And the lawsuit also lines out that Cohen should have told President Trump about this because he is his lawyer. Time.